What's going on everybody, it's your boy Shadish. We're back at it again with the next event update. We got the summertime power up stone event going on for the next two weeks. Definitely want to make sure you're doing that as the uh, opportunity to collect power stones and improve your success rate for um, getting yourself uh, you know, some higher level runes. It's gonna be uh, obviously a good thing. So. Um, Definitely a lot of awards going on. Same awards that we've been getting um, every time they offer this. But the one thing I always do forget is to make sure you scroll all the way down and take advantage of this um, free energy giveaway that they uh, give to you um, every day that you um, do find a power stone. So, gotta get some of that. Um, let's see. So, yeah, as far as the finishing off the vid, um, we gotta go ahead and throw it out there because it's the question that uh, you know everybody asks when this power up, you know, stone event comes. The number one question asked is, where is the best place to farm the power up stones? Um, you know, my 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 general statement is it's all RNG. You can sit there and and argue this and that, whatever. But I I, I personally just feel that um, you know going to the place where you typically farm, you know. Faimon Hell, Hydini Hell, Faimon Normal, you know, you're eventually going to get them. You know, you'll have the days where you find 20, you have the days where you find two. It's all good. The only argument that we can make, though, the only argument that we can make, though, is that, um, you know, it, the if, if it is truly RNG, then, you know, uh, going to the place is going to give you the most opportunities, um, you know, for it to pop up and get it. It's going to be your best bet. So some will argue that running Feynman Normal uh, versus Feynman Hell um, is going to be a better bet because you're using less energy for every opportunity to um, for the power stones to drop. Now, um, while that is the case for me, uh, you know I'm going to go ahead and throw this out there because this is just based on my experience. Uh, you know when I run Normal, um, I generally find. Um, you know, out of the opportunity to get one, two, or three power stones, I generally find uh, one or two power stones um, on average, right? But as you can see right now, I'm farming um, Faimon Hell, and when I do um, collect the power stones, it's generally in the two to three range. I rarely get one power stone when I'm farming Hell. Now, I, I don't know if that's a coincidence or not, or if they made changes in the past, but that's just how it is for me. So during this next two weeks, I would say, you know, 90% of the energy that I utilize um, is done just through farming. And so as you see, I'm running a, a, a double XP. I will generally run um, a double XP, you know, for the majority of the week, uh, you know, for, for people into mid late stages of the game, um, you know, getting the conquer three reward plus, um, you know, the 30 to 50 crystals um, we get, you know, throughout the day from different dungeons, from the uh, rivals, from events, from the from the daily, um, you know, the daily giveaways, um, the the calendar event, you know, where they give us stuff every day, you know, sometimes it's crystal, you know, all those accumulated over the course of a week. Um, for me, it runs around uh, between 700 to 800 crystals. So because I'm not in a you know, I'm not in a position to, uh, you know, try to save up. I don't, I don't need to save up crystals for, you know, uh, what is it? Uh, you know, premium packs. I generally use my crystals uh, for energy refills and constantly refill day in and day out. Um, you know, typically for dragon, you know, farming dragons. But, you know, this, this week I'll definitely take a break and uh, make sure I focus on um, leveling up fodder so I can take advantage of, you know, farming the fodder, leveling the fodder, and then... And then uh, getting an opportunity to <laughs> I swear, Akuho, this guy. How many times have we seen him in a random video? Just, just he doesn't even know I'm recording. But um, yeah, I, I generally like to just farm fodder and you know get get everything done. After two weeks' time, I will generally have um, enough fodder to um, six star three units. Or, I'm sorry, six star two units. Um, you know, just from leveling up uh, three star, you know, two star and three star naturals all the way up to five star uh, fodder. So, 
you know, again, take it for what it's worth, guys. Uh, I'm sure we can make an argument about, you know, again, just sticking with Find My Normal because it's going to give you the most um, opportunities with a lower, uh, with a low, you know, energy requirement and uh, a good energy return. Um, but for me, it's I'm, I'm, I'm leveling up fodder as I'm doing this, as I'm trying to farm the stones. Um, so, in, in essence, it's it's one of those things where I say I'm, I'm farming, I'm leveling up fodder, and then the power stones for me are a bonus. You know, they'll just come over time. I'm not sitting here trying to, you know, get as many as I can by going to normal, whatever. I'm just leveling up fodder because it's something that I would, you know, generally do, you know, regular. So, uh, that being said, that's just, you know, my experience, my opinion. You guys are more than welcome to share your opinion in the comment section down below. Everybody, let's get excited because it's time to get some power stones. Yeah, buddy. So, power stone event. Jump on it, get to it, and be about it. All right? We'll go ahead and cut the video off right there, guys. It's your boy Childish with Childish Plays checking out. Take care. We will see you next time. I'm out.